7 degrees in sleepy Arua and it's off for another walk on the Camino in Biana. The next three days I understand from the guidebooks are going to be quite tough uh, in terms of ascent and descent. So I've broken it up a bit. I'm stopping in Soldan today, <coughs> which in theory is only 20 k's, but there's a fair bit of ascent and descent as well. So let's see how we go. And I had the shoes hold up. I stuck them together again with tape last night. Sleepy Arua. So it's a Sunday morning. Uh, saw some guys setting up what looks like to be a, a weekend market or something. The cockerels are awake. Just met two other pilgrims. Uh, this German couple who started in Zamora, just up there ahead. And there's two Spanish and a Russian who left my hostel early this morning. I saw an Italian. I think, there's, I think there's a few more. I saw more on day one, but whether they were all just out for a day or so, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's move on. Today's a fairly hard day for me. <laughs> Maybe not for most people. Oh, it's the best part of the day, isn't it? I love dawn. Let's let this car go past. So I think today is sort of beside the road and then up into the mountains. Oh, this is nice. Looking down on the River Sill. <clears throat> I've seen some of these pictures, I think. From people online. So if it's a little bit shaky I've just got it zoomed a bit more so that we can see down to the river. Try and get a good view without the power pylon. It's great isn't it? So this is the first time I've seen something like this on the Imbiano which is very nice. So uh, in the little village, first village you come to there's a little Donatibo stand. There's a cafeteria. <clears throat> There's a little coffee machine in there with a pod coffee machine. I'm not sure if it's plugged in. Uh, but there's fruit and fruit juice. There's a stamp. There's a little book to leave a note. And to, to leave some cash in there. Some notes left by people. That's really nice because there's no facilities along here, so it's really nice. I just had a, a juice and I took an apple. So I'm gonna sit at the end of the village and have an apple. So thank you for that, whoever put this here, it's really thoughtful. So having made the first isent, ascent, uh, <clears throat> now we've got the first descent coming down to Montefuero. Uh, it's a little bit like coming down from um, El Cibo. This is the bit that absolutely wrecks my knees. I'm going really slow using my poles. So uh, I'm not sure where the village is. Probably down below us out of sight there somewhere. Oh, it'll <clears throat> be where the station is probably. Just around the corner. So I'll have a short break there. There's no services there or anything. Uh, and then <clears throat> over the next hill to Selden. <clears throat> so the old guy up in the farm there was gesturing at me and I thought, um, he was telling me that I was going the wrong way, but he was actually saying, do you like cherries? <clears throat> He's got cherries growing just outside his house. And so I spent a couple of minutes picking cherries. Very tasty. That wasn't too bad coming down there. We haven't come down a lot though. There's some sheep coming down the track now. And we've got another sign here, 189. I must remember when we had 100, start getting two stamps a day. Now, I'm sure that old guy, when he was talking to me, was saying something about tortilla. And I don't think I was confusing the word for cherries with tortilla. But he seemed to be saying tortilla and pointing down here to the next village. Who knows? Maybe we'll find tortilla. <laughs> so this is Monteferrado. Again, no services here. 
a, a little village stuck on the side of the mountain. So we'll press on to Soldan. And so the day continues. <laughs> I have to say this has probably been some of the most spectacular scenery. Via Vieja was pretty good. And walking along the river the other day was pretty good, but yeah, I love being up in the mountains here. It's amazing to me how <clears throat> sort of uh, habitation develops, I suppose. When you see it, you know, you've got these big mountains here and these little villages just tucked on flat spots. You know, another one over there. I guess over the years that, you know, farmers and shepherds, whatever, thought, oh, well, that's a spot, I'll put a house in. And then gradually a village builds up around it. I'm probably about uh, six k short of Solon. This is very like, in some ways, the walk from uh, Cruz de Ferro down to Mola uh, <clears throat> You know, there's a few uphill and downhill sections. It's not quite as severe as the one coming down into Mola Naseca. But this looks very like that area. Is that a church clinging to the hillside over there? Let's see if I can zoom into it. There. Oh, let's keep going. So I just have to share this little bit of the walk with you. Isn't this glorious? It's mainly road walking today, but if there is such a thing, good road walking. Not, hardly any traffic. I think I saw three cars all day. <clears throat> and beautiful views. And then you have this section. Oh, I've got to stop to catch my breath. <clears throat> I'll tell you one thing. If you've walked the Camino Francis and you like day one, the last hour or so on this route have been like walking up to Horizon. It's not quite as steep, but bits of it are very like that. And it's endless. On and on and on and on. Oh, it's about the third car I've seen all day. Yeah, you get sort of um, steep sections and then you kind of lose all that height and then, oh, up again. I think there was one section where there was sort of... Uh, actually, I think the, the maximum ascent today is only about 200 metres, which, you know, 600 feet is a fair bit. <coughs> There's lots of sort of smaller ascents and descents, which kind of takes it out of your legs a bit. Now, oh, where are we going up here? We're not going up to that village. This is the big re-entrant I was talking about. So we go all the way to the right and around and all the way back across to the left. Looks like we're going to go through a, a little hamlet. So I think what's happening, we're going to go right into the re-entrant there quite a bit. <clears throat> Could be like seven, eight hundred meters more. Could be a kilometer. And then back out along that road. And then I think we're gonna go over that hill and drop down to Solden. At least that's what I reckon, looking at maps me and the contours and stuff. <clears throat> so look at this. I'm in a little village just short of Solvern called Bendio. And apparently there's no services on this route today. But look at this. In Casa Martina, you can get a menu del dia. Gee, I wish I'd known about that. Let's drop in and have a look anyway. I've got all my food and stuff with me and I have to get to um, Solvern. But oh, a piece of tortilla would go down all right, wouldn't it? I wonder where Casa Martina is, probably up here. 
or sit in the next town. <laughs> so I did find Casa Martina. It was just somebody's house at the top of the hill with another sign on the door. To be honest, I've <coughs> got so much food and stuff in my pack. Um, I didn't bother stopping. It's very tempted, but you know, there's a sign there which said ring the bell. And <coughs> I just thought, oh, it'll delay me a bit. I've had lots of stops already. But uh, hopefully, Martina makes a go of it and um, more people will know that there's actually a place to get snacks and drinks on the way. I'm, I'm sure a couple of, in a couple of the villages people will start doing that and then it will become <clears throat> better known, it will make the journey easier. You don't have to pack all your stuff with you. But I'm close, I just want to get finished. <laughs> So I just looked at Gronza, it's 2.3 k's to go. So we've got that village up on the hill. And I'm just looking to see where Solden is. It's not as far as those, let me zoom in. <clears throat> those white buildings, centre screen, that's too far away. And then when I looked at Maps Me, I could see that the highway, there was a bridge over a tributary of the river. And then that must be it there right in the middle of the screen. So a little bit of a descent. Take it easy at the end of the day. Don't want to go and do my knees in. Um, I should be there by about three o'clock. Let's go. So that I think is Solon. <coughs> shouldn't be too far <laughs> shouldn't be too hard to find my apartment. Looks like about <clears throat> 10 or 20 buildings. That's a pretty picture, isn't it? Except for the uh, electricity pipe. Got the rail track running along next to the river. It's just going to take me ages to get down from here. This is like the last part into Mola Naseka on the Francis. Just got to resist the urge and go slow. Well, let me give you a tour of my apartment. Um, it's tucked right at the end of the village, kind of tucked up the little tributary off the river Sill. Um, as I walked in I thought, oh yeah, it's right under the freeway overpass. Uh, you don't actually hear it in the building. So um, let me just give you a quick tour in case you were thinking of staying here. I mean for pilgr pilgrim accommodation it's not cheap, it's 60 euros. Um, but if there was more than one of you. So there's the river, complete with geese. So it's more, it's more tourist accommodation. People come here for water sports and stuff. There's a little picnic area down there. Um, but for me, it worked out really well because I just didn't want to have to go over another mountain range to the next town, which is another 6Ks. So uh, I've really got to try and keep down to about 20Ks a day if I can over these mountains. So it worked out well. So the only downside here is there's no bar or shop or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> but in my terrible Spanish, I did ask him to get some eggs and bread, which he's done. And he's got coffee making stuff as well. There isn't a washing machine, but I can hand wash stuff and I can hang it out over there, he said. There's a washing line. That's good. There's no one else staying here tonight. So come and have a look. I don't think I'll be rushing out of here tomorrow. <laughs> It'll be very comfortable. So here's my little apartment. Uh, so he got me eggs and bread. And there's some oil, salt, sugar, coffee, milk. So that's great. There's a microwave. A little sitting room overlooking the river, just about, yep, very nice. What's out there? See a bit of a garden. I'm going to open all the windows up, let some air through. Nice bedroom, so yeah, if there was two of you, this wouldn't be too bad, don't you? And a bathroom. So it kind of worked out for me, as I said, I wanted to try and keep my distances down. So, plan A, I can do 
miso omelette and noodles. So I'll get my washing done, you know the routine, get the washing done, have a shower, get changed, then I'll cook lunch. <laughs>